queens. I love the queens because whenever a queen comes up for me in my readings personally, I know that I'm in a place of mastery. And when we master something, we attain something. And it's not just an ability, it's a gift. So the queens are, are women over 18 years of age. They always represent females. And they represent the females of the seeker's character and qualities expressed on their path. Or they can represent a woman in the seeker's life. So if you're doing a reading for a gentleman, then you may have uh, a queen pop up in the reading. Women are meant to master each queen in each suit to obtain self-mastery, magical mastery. And when we are at a place where we've mastered the queens, we've also mastered all of the other cards in the suit. So the queens represent a completion as well. And when you're sitting on your throne and you have that ability, you don't have to worry about that situation coming up and bringing trauma or disorganization or discord into your life. So you have to also take a look at the queen and what direction they're facing. Queen of Cups is facing the past and that's normal for empathic abilities and being able to connect with the heart, the feelings, and holding your own in balance, as well as benefiting the world and being a part of the collective consciousness. The Queen of Pentacles is looking at the past too, recognizing her growth and proud of it. Almost as if she's sitting in that pentacle like it's a little kid on her lap. So mastery of money and the hardships that she had to endure. And the carvings on these thrones represent the powers and the things that they had to go through. Queen of Swords is now moving forward. So from the page, she's moving into the right direction, but is also able to listen to her intuitive intellect. And then we have the Queen of Wands, and she is focusing on her present situation but also that present situation and a little into the future, she has her eye on her growth. And so she's intuitive in that way. 